In this video, we will create a tortoise formation using CrowdSim 3D. You see such a formation at the back of this image. A tortoise formation is a famous battle formation used by the ancient Romans. In this tutorial, we will be using the grid distribution, conditions, intersections, and parallel evaluations and actions to create this formation. When using the grid distribution, the agents are numbered. These numbers represent the distance between the leftmost, rightmost, first line and last line of the grid. When adding logic, we can check against these numbers to let the agent perform other things. In this tutorial, we let the first line hold the shields in front and let the other agents hold the shields on top. This will create the formation. We start by adding a grid factory to the scene. A grid factory places the agents in a given number of columns and rows. We set the columns to 5 and the rows to 16. To give the distribution a more natural look, we set the random location for x and y axis to 0 0.05. That's 5 cm. Next, we will populate the scene with our soldiers. I already linked in the model and the actions we are going to use. We create a new node tree and name it populate. We add a populate node and connect a mesh variable node to the populate node. And equip all soldiers with a sword and a shield. The model is textured. I will enable the texture drawing in the shading menu. The shape of the agent, the arrow, are drawn in front of everything else. We can hide these shapes by hiding the agent's collection in the outliner. Now we will model the behavior of the crowd. We add a new node tree to model the behavior. I add the behavior node, the start point of all behaviors, and connect the play action node. With the play action node, you can use a pre-animated animation action in the crowd simulation. After pressing execute behavior, the crowd simulation is updated. Add a second play action node and select an action that holds the shield in front of the soldier. We use a parallel node so both play action nodes are executed. The parallel node always executes all subtrees. When playing the animation back, you can notice that the shield moves along with the standstill animation. We don't want that. By setting the priority of the play action node, you can configure what animation has more pre precedence. A higher number in the priority field will have less precedence over a lower priority. We want to control when the soldiers will stand in formation. For this, we add a box and scale it so it then holds all soldiers. We animate the box so that in the start the box does not touch the soldiers and later it does. The box is drawn as a solid box. You can change the viewport display to draw the box differently in the viewport. When the soldier touches the box we want them to stand in formation. I add a new play action node and select the animation where the soldier holds the shields on top of them. We use a conditional node and an intersection node. We also add an object selector node. Here we can limit what objects the intersection node needs to check. We only want to check against the cube. When there is an intersection, we want the shield on top action to be used. Now we can connect the conditional node to the rest of the node tree. After executing the simulation, you see that all agents hold their ships always on top of them. Seems like the simulation is incorrect. But the reason for this is that Blender does not know what the default is to show before the animation. We can set the animation blend in to tell Blender it needs to blend in the animation with other active animations. If we now execute the animation, 
you see that the soldier will start with the shield in front, and when they intersect with the box, they will slowly raise the shield. Using the same trick we did earlier, we can add an animation where the soldiers will brace for impact. We add a play action note with the animation, and a parallel note to perform the animation simultaneously. Now we model that the first line will hold the shields differently. The agents have been created by the grid factory, and have properties containing their position in the grid. We add a conditional node and a check attribute node. We have seen the conditional node already. The check attribute node can check an attribute of an agent. Attributes like its speed, what model it is, the factory of the agent, but also the position in the grid. We check for positive column equals to zero but we invert the results. We add a new play action node and select a different animation for holding the shield. If we now execute the behavior, you see that the soldier in front holds the shields in front of their faces. Thank you for watching this video tutorial for CrowdSim3D. We hope you liked it.